jubilation as court finally calls for a referendum for Biafra, says is the only way out to Nambekano's freedom. It's for Biafran good. Is that not what Biafrans have been calling for? Is that not what the Biafrans have been seeking for? Is, that is it. That is the only way out. Yes. That is what the Biafrans have been calling for and also have been asking for. So there is nothing that can stop it. Now that the court has called for it and also went ahead to fix a date. Do you believe that? A date for the referendum has been fixed. The court finally fixed date for referendum. Says is the only way out. Ha! <laughs> Nigeria in trouble. Let me hear you speak, my dear listeners in the house, to know what you want to take on this. Very broadcast, maybe. All right, um, this is morning news. The Federal High Court 5 in Abuja on Friday fixed October 20th for hearing in the suit filed by the Coalition of Northern Groups CNG seeking an order directing for a referendum to finally decide the fate of the troubled Nigerian Union. Announcing the adjournment, Justice Ekbo said it was to give 14 days to the plaintiffs to amend their originating summons and another 14 days for the defendant to file a response. Earlier, the court had granted application by 16 groups seeking to be joined as defendants in the suit bringing the number of defendants to 20. Speaking after the adjournment, the lawyer representing the Igbo nation of the Southeast region said the CNG had provided a likely solution to the lingering communal bickering by filling the suit. He said the suit shall serve as a vehicle to address in particular the marginalization of the Southeast by denying it the opportunity to produce the president of Nigeria. Reacting, one of the defendants, the spokesperson for the group, Abdul Aziz Laimon expressed satisfaction at the way the process they initiated was inviting national attention. Let me say congratulations to um, to the Biafrans. Yeah, a very big congratulations to the Biafrans. This is what the Biafrans have been calling for, but the Nigerian government has been turning it down, has been running away from it. But now, no way to run anymore. See, let me tell you, my dear listeners, this is how we know. This is how we know if truly that the Biafrans, the, if this how we know if know the people that are um, seriously uh, in support or that still uh, that are still willing to still belong to the Biafrans or that are still willing to be a part and parcel of Biafran. This is how we know the people that are still interested in Nigeria and the ones that are not interested in Nigeria. This is how we know. You understand? So it is a very much welcomed exercise. I'm happy to hear this. I'm very happy. Do you understand? So it's a very welcomed exercise. So my dear listeners, October 20th is the date fixed for referendum for Biafra. The Biafrans will now know their fate. It has been said that some person will say, uh, don't mind them, nobody uh, is interested. Not one will say, don't mind them, nothing like that, nothing like Biafra. Especially Gaba Shew that is always saying what is not, that uh, Biafra is a waste of time. Now you will now know if Biafran is a reality or a waste of time. Even before now, what is happening right now in the international organization and body supposed to pass a message to you that Biafran is not a child's play? Do you understand? Yes. Personally, I am not a Biafran, but I will tell you that Biafran is for real. Biafran is coming to pass. Biafran will come to pass. Nobody can stop Biafran from coming to pass. Not even Mr. President can stop it. Mr. President even knows. He knows. And that is why he is doing all within his power 
to stop numb kernel ports. It is not possible. It is not possible. So with this that has just been declared now, everybody will now know his own stand, where he belongs and where he doesn't belong. So um, this reminds me of what the uh, the UK government said one certain time. They want Bari that Bari should make haste, should make haste and solve the issue is having with the beer friends or else they will come in and help them out. Now, what that very promise is what is coming to pass right now. It's what is coming to pass right now. You understand? So let us just face the reality. Let us face the reality. You understand? So, Mr. President, <laughs> uh, I would say that I am overwhelmed by this information because that is the only way out to solve this situation. That's the only way out and nothing more. You understand? Nothing more than this. If there is anything that can stop this from, from happening, it is this decision. Referendum is the only way. Referendum is the only key to save Nigeria, to bring peace, to stop this unnecessary kidnapping, killing, robbery, and what have you. I was telling someone something yesterday that if we are to look at this with a clear conscience, you will see that of a truth, Nigerians deserve to, deserve to divide. Because nothing is working again. Nothing is working for Nigeria again. Nothing is going on again in Nigeria. Nigeria is scattered. Nigeria is, is destroyed, I'm telling you. Our leaders have destroyed this country. So let us divide so that everybody will go his own way and start arranging himself again. Do you understand? That's just it. All right, let me hear you speak anyway, my dear people, based on this facts that has just been taken note of don't forget your comments still are very very important don't forget to leave them below the comment box click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos thank you